Hello everyone and welcome back to our second episode of Art for Kids Sunday. And today we're going to be drawing Sanrio's beloved character, My Melody, using simple shapes. So to get started, I'll show you what I'm going to be using today. I've got a ruler, I've got a mechanical pencil for sketching, and I've got three colors. I'm not sure if this black's going to work. I'm going to try it out. If it doesn't work, we'll use a black marker instead. But the only characters that my melody consists of is a pink, a yellow, and then the outline's going to be in black. And that's pretty much it. It's going to be an easy one today. But it's going to look really cute. Okay, so let's start off by... We're going to make a X in the center of our paper. I'm going to use my ruler so I can get a nice straight X. Or not really an X, it's kind of a cross. I'm going to show you how we use this. So I'm going to do another one across this way. Okay. And that's pretty much it for the ruler. So we're going to start off with adding the basic shape of my melody's head. So we'll start off with a kind of a oval. It's not really a circle, but it's going to go right here. And that cross right there in the middle is going to be right directly center. So let's get her head put in. Kind of like that. And you got us a nice oval there. Okay. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put her body in. And it's kind of like an oval also. So if you just wanted to do another oval like this. So we're just kind of getting the dimensions and uh, where everything's going to be laid out. And the bottom of her body is going to be kind of flat. So we can bring a line across like that. Okay, that looks good. Okay, and then her ears, one's going to be kind of an oval, and the other one's going to be more of a circle. So the one here on the left side, I'm going to do kind of an oval like this. That looks good. Let's see how that ear is going to come down right there. And then this one right here is going to be kind of a circle like that. And then we're going to connect. That's going to connect right over here. Let me see. I think I'm, I made her face a little bit too wide. So I'm going to cut this edge of that oval off about right there. And the same thing over here. I'm going to cut that edge off about right there. So we'll erase all that right there. So that's pretty much going to be it now. Her eyes are ovals also, but let's get her hat in here because the only thing that she really wears is a little adorable outfit, which is a pink hood with a white flower on it. So let's get that part in. And it's basically just going to be another oval in here. So if we do another oval, kind of like this. So you can see we're just using simple shapes. So that's going to be top of her hat there. And then her eye is it going to be another oval. One's going to go about right there. And they're kind of spread apart, which gives her a little cute face. Another one's going to go about right there. And then... She has a tiny little nose right there and a cute little mouth, just like that. Okay, and let me see. Her hood is going to come down kind of like this and then across the body and then back up to the head and then... Over here, we're going to have her hand. So just make a regular circle like there. And then an oval connecting that. That's going to be her hand. Okay, and then their hand over here is going to 
come out and then run into a circle right here. So kind of like that. And then her body is going to be about right there, one leg. And then right here is going to be another leg. Run it, the bottom of it to be even with the other leg. So kind of like that. It kind of looks like a heart in a way. And then where her tummy is right there. And then we're going to kind of signify feet like that. And that is our sketch. Let's kind of clean this up a little bit. So I'm going to erase these edges. And we don't need this cross in the middle anymore. So you can take it out and all these extra lines. I'm probably going to fast forward the video on this section. Because you guys don't need to sit here and see me erase. Okay, and I think that's going to do it right there. Okay, and now, um, so we're not going to see the bottom of the ear, so we can take that part off too. It's just going to connect right here to her head. Uh, we're going to see a little overlap right there, but we won't see this part up here, so we can take that out too. This is just going to come down and connect right there. And then the flower that I was talking about on her hood goes right here where it connects, the ear connects to the head. So we do a very simple flower shape, just like that, with a circle in the middle. And that's going to be it. All right, I like it. It's looking really cute. Trying to get these X's out of here. All right, I think that's good. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start uh, putting in her coloring on her top part, so on her hood. So I've got a pink, and I think, I don't know if this pink is exactly the color that is, her, her pink is a little bit darker than this, but this is about all I've got today, so we're just going to go with this. We're going to get the pink color in, and remember, it's just going to be the hood here. So again, on this coloring part, I'm going to fast forward the video. So you guys can join me after you finish coloring yours also. Okay. So the pink's in. Let's... Put the yellow in the middle of the flower. Right there in the circle. Okay, like I told you, I was going to try out this black pencil and see. Yeah, I think it works good. We're going we're gonna to go with it today. Instead of using the black marker, we're going to go with this black. So let's do her eyes next. So just outline them. And then we're going to leave two little circles, one right there and one right there. We're going to color around those. Okay, that's going to be a little sparkle in her eye. The same one over here. Do the outline. And you're going to have a bigger circle here up top and then a smaller one here at the bottom. I think that's good. Okay, let's go ahead. You know what? Let's go ahead and get the yellow. Her nose is yellow also. Let's get the yellow in there on her nose. 
I like to do the outlines after I do the coloring. Because then we don't have to worry about coloring in the lines. Like staying within the lines. So there's her nose and then her cute little smile. All right, now let's do, let's outline this flower. The flower is going to be white, so we're not even going to color it at all. Okay, let's get around. Ear right here. And I think this ear is going to overlap, so I'm going to stop right there. Then this one is going to come around like that. Okay. That's good. All right. And so the circle right here is going to go into the arms. We're not going to have that line under there. So just going to the circle for her hand. And then I'm going to bring it into the arm like that. It'll look like a little bowling pin. Let's get this. And then a little part of it over here. Okay, and the bottom of her floor. About right there. Okay, that looks good. And let's get her arm coming out here. And again with this, the circle is going to be connected to the hand. You're just going to do it like that. Okay, and then the body is going to come down here. Right into there, and this one the same way. Let's see if we can clean that up a little bit inside. Clean up that hand over there. A lot of the sketch marks we can clean up. Don't want to push too hard because I don't want to erase my colored pencils. It looks good. Okay, and then let's get her little curve for her body and then top of the feet. And that is going to do it. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I just love this character right here. This is one of the uh, Japanese characters from the Sanrio company. Uh, you're probably all familiar with Hello Kitty, which is also one of the ones. But they have a range of cute little characters, and I just love them all. I think they're so cute. So that's going to do it. It's all about breaking it down into simple shapes and taking your time. With practice, anyone can draw my melody or any other character that they love. So I want to thank you guys for joining me. I will see you again next Sunday with a new video. Take care.